everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to see the outputs of various join in sql so what are the number of records shown when we join two tables based on left join right join inner join and the out join and also guys this is one of the most important and most commonly asked interview questions so let's begin so these are the two tables that we are going to consider the table 1 is the employee table and the table 2 is the manager table. Each of these table contains one column that is the employee ID. So this is the employee ID and uh, since this is the manager table, so this is the employee ID of the manager. So now we have to perform various types of joins over here. So let's first of all perform the inner join. Basically in the case of inner join, if you know that the inner join combines rows from two tables only when there is a matching value in the columns being joined. And the rows without a match in either table are excluded. That means that it will only return the rows from, the, from those two tables only where are there exactly a matching value in the columns. Okay. So let's just compare every employee ID with the, every manager's employee ID over here. So as we can see that one exists in both also in the table one as well as in the table two. So there is a match. Now, if we see for the two employee ID 2, that employee ID 2 also exists in both in the table number 1 as well as in the table number 2. So, again, there is a match. Now, let's see for null condition. So, null is actually special. So, null never equals null in SQL. So, this is, the, this is something you will have to keep in mind that null is not equal to null. Instead, null is actually considered as unknown value in SQL. So, there is no match with this. Okay. Now, for the employee ID 3, again, we can see that it also exists in the manager table. And yeah, there is a match. And if we see for the employee ID 4, as it does not exist in the manager table, so that's why there is no match with employee ID 4. And therefore, the final inner join output would come out to be this. Uh, so it is shown only the rows where it, where it has the matching uh, values in the columns being used. Okay. Now let's understand the next join, which is the left join. So in, in the case of left join, if you know that the left join is also known as left outer join and it returns all the rows from the left table and it returns matching rows from the right table. For example, in this case, a right table is manager table. And if in case there is no match, the result shows null for the right tables column. Okay, so, so definitely it's going to consider all the rows from the left table and only matching records from the right table and if there is no match then the result shows null for the right tables column where, where there is no match okay so in this case if we see the row by row joins for each row in, in employee in employee table the sql searches for a matching employee id in the manager okay so in this case if we see for the employee id one since it exists in manager and the result will be a one and one Again, it is a match since also for two, it is again a match. Now for null, it is since we uh, we have already discussed that null is considered as unknown in SQL uh, so that there will not be um, any match. But we since we have to consider all the records from the left table, so we are going to consider it. And in the right hand side, we are going to uh, take null since if there is no match, the result shows null for the right tables column. Okay, so it will turn out to be null comma null. And for 3, again, it is a match. So it will be 3, 3. And for 4, since there is no match, so it's going to return null for the right column. So therefore, your result will be, the final output of this join will come out to be this. 1, 2, uh, null, 3, 4, all the rows from the left table. And since 1 is matching, 2 is matching, null, comma null, since we had to consider this null, since it includes a record from the employee table, 3 is again a match, but 4 is not a match. That's why it is null. So I hope you're clear with the left join output as well. Let's now move on to the next join, which is the right join. If, if you don't know, if you don't know, the right join actually returns all the rows from the right table. In this case, it is the manager tables and it only returns the matching rows from the left table, which is our employee table. And again, if there is no match in the left table, it shows null for the left side columns, just like the left join that we just discussed but in this case it's just it's just going to consider all the rows from the right table and only the matching rows from the left table so in this case if we see the if we see that two is since it's going to consider all the rows from the right table so if we see for each record in the right table so 
So two is definitely a match. One is again a match. Three is again a match. But again, this null comma null. So again, it will show null comma null for for the employee table records over here. So that's that's how your final output would look like. It's just going to take two comma two, one comma one, three comma three, and then null comma null and null comma null in the output. So all the manager rows are included, as you can see over here, two one three null null, two one three null null. All the manager rows are include included. And employee ID is set to be null in manager where there is no matching uh, records. Okay, so in this case, uh, null comma null. So here we have simply mentioned a null in the uh, for the employee table records. Okay, so I hope you're clear with the right join as well. Let's now move on to the next join, which is our full join. Full join is also known as full outer join. What it returns is a full join returns all the rows from the left table again, all the rows from the right table. And if a match is found using the on condition, the rows are combined. And if there is no match, it fills the missing site with null. So that's how it works. It has actually consider all the rows from left and right table both. If a match is found using the on condition, the rows are actually combined because it, it will definitely not include the duplicates. Then if there is no match, it fills the missing site with null. Okay. So just let's see what would be the output of uh, these two tables when we join them on full join logic. So in this case, let's evaluate 1, 2, 3 exist in both. That's why it gets joined. It's very clear that 1, 2 and 3 uh, exist in both the tables and that's why it joins. Now 4 exists only in the employee table and not in the manager table. So that's why there will be one more row with uh, where 4, null will be there since uh, null will be shown from the manager table. Now, as you can see here, null from the employee and manager. So, since uh, there, there will not be any join in this case, null from employee and manager. And again, man manager has two nulls. So, so, both of them will be treated as unmatched rows. Okay. So, in this case, our output would look something like this, where we have considered 1, 2, 3. Then we have considered 4. Uh, four, uh, com four null, and then these two nulls. If we, if we could have considered this null as well, and again it would have been a duplicate. So yeah, we don't want it to have that. Okay, so yeah, that's how your output would look like. So I hope you're clear with uh, with the number of outputs each join returns. So that's all for this video, guys. I hope you're clear, and let me know in the comment section if you have any doubts. Also, please like the video. Share with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.